Good morning. morning from Rotorua. Given our epic trek across the Tongariro Alpine Crossing yesterday, we have taken a more leisurely start to our day today. And believe it or not, we are actually going to go on another walk today, albeit a way shorter and more gentler one. Let's go. Obviously, we did do a massive hike yesterday, so we're not looking to do anything too intense. So out of that, then we got to do the quarry track, which is this green one here, which comes in a loop and brings us back. It's going to take about 4.8 kilometers all in all. Should be a nice way to spend the afternoon. Seven feet tall. So if you cloned me an additional 30 times and laid me end to end, I'd just about be a bit taller than a full grown redwood. Absolutely gorgeous walk. We are now back at our Airbnb. We have a few hours to rest here before we go on what would you call it? A nighttime event or adventure? I'm not sure. Either way, we're pretty excited about it. Hi. We are here at Tepuia to do the Geyser by Night experience. We don't really know what to expect, but we're really excited. So let's check it out. Our guide for the evening, Patrick, was a member of the Te Arawa tribe. To start the tour, he welcomed us to their land before kindly sharing some Maori culture and history with us. by some geothermal pools, we were then treated to a delicious dessert made of just cornmeal, sweet potato, and butterscotch that was cooked by the traditional hangy method that uses steam from a steam vent or hot spring to cook the food. Finally, it was time for the main event.
just got back from Geyser by Night, and what a unique experience. I've never seen a geyser, so this was a first for me. And I found it amazing that because we were so close, you could hear the water boiling, and then you could see the steam coming out of the vents. And then slowly but surely, the geysers started discharging water, and the discharges got more powerful. So the water started getting higher and higher until it culminated into water just absolutely shooting into the air. It was really amazing. If I'm being honest, it created so much steam that sometimes it blocked the view of the water, which I think is a spectacular part, but I don't really think it matters where you're standing. It was still like a lot of force to be reckoned with. I would agree. I think also just the way that all of that geothermal activity shapes the landscape it just makes it look like you're in a completely different world it is such an an odd thing to see if you're not used to it beyond the geysers though the fact that we also got that talk about maori culture which i admit to knowing extremely little about and also getting some free food as well culminated in a well-rounded experience that i wasn't expecting so yeah all in all it was a successful evening out but i think that is all from us for this video so until next time take care and keep smiling go for it it'll be hilarious fine modeling yes camera loves you baby <laughs> charming <laughs> you remember those pictures yes <laughs>